Guys and gals, it's finally here. From lightweight handle to cooling panel, here's everything you need to know about my Voron V0 cooling system. Alright, so I'm as excited as you guys to get into this cooling system, but first we have to figure out why all this started. This V0 has been going fast since 2023, but it had a problem. Part cooling. This machine was melting plastic so fast that the stock fans just couldn't keep up. Couldn't cool the plastic down fast enough. So you know what we did? We added bigger fans. We upgraded to 4010 fans over the stock 3010s. That's over double the airflow. But that just still wasn't enough. So what we did was we added in these giant fans right here, one on each side. That's over 25 times the airflow of the stock fans and allowed for plenty of part cooling. Do you realize how crazy that is? That means there's so much air blowing on the hot plate that it can't keep up to temperature because it cools down too fast. All these fans were cooling so much that the motion system couldn't keep up. But did we let that stop us in the pursuit of speed? No. So we added this giant server fan that draws nearly 50 watts on the back. And we cut some ventilation holes here. What this allowed us to do is crank the amperage way up on this little main board here and give more power to our motors and therefore a lot more speed. So as well as cooling fans, there's also a fan under the bed to help heat up the chamber for a higher temperature material. This printer draws nearly 60 watts of power while running all of its fan at fans at once. So there's a lot of power going through this printer just in fans alone. So there's an upgraded power supply in here as well. And uh, have a great day.